Hey, what's up, you all? I'm your dude, Chris. I have autism here. And I'm going to be talking about the problem I have with work shoes. Since I work fast food and I work with greasy floors, oftentimes I'm the guy who closes almost all the time, so I'm having to mop. And what will happen over time is that first thing that I understand is what holds these shoes together from the bottom to the seam here is there's glue. A lot of times, shoemakers don't use thread, they'll use glue, or thread or glue, glue to hold the bottom of the shoe together. There's glue. And what wa the water, what will happen is when you walk on wet floors, the moisture builds up over time, and it will cause the glue to loosen up and to disappear. And what happens is that glue gets eaten away, the water gets into it and eats away at the glue causing this problem your what they say your shoes this is when your shoes start to talk uh grease things of that nature just a bunch of walking will cause wear and tear and this can become a real this can become a quite a financial burden especially if you're trying to save up as much money as possible because Shoes can range anywhere between sixty-five to over a hundred dollars, and you want shoes that are going to last you a good couple of years. But how are you supposed to do that when you're working in the damn kitchen, and then four months later you got this fucking problem? Hmm. That's the problem I have with with work shoes is that over time they will tear. Especially when you're doing a lot of walking and you're doing, if uh, if you're a closing crew man like me, where you have to filter out stuff, change out filters, and clean behind stuff, and you know lift objects and do all that uh, maintenance crap. There'll be instances where you'll get have to walk on a lot of greasy, wet, wet floors, and that causes the glue to wear out. And your shoes, therefore, your shoes will start to what we call talking because you know, it's like because look at me. We do a little mouth animation. Hello, I got a mouth and I'm starting to talk. Look at me on the talking shoe. There's wear and tear, and I'm tired of all this grease getting in my mouth. So dirty. Alright. You can make a little pup after becoming a tranquilliquist. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that word. It's such a tongue twister. Or maybe it's just because I'm a little bit retarded. I don't know. Could be that. Anyway. Yeah. That's the problem I have with shoes. And even if you were to buy Crocs or or whatever shoes they have to help against water, even those will start to wear down too because every shoe that's made will have glue at the bottom of them. That's how these shoe companies make them money. They could make shoes without having to use the glue. They could just use a whole, the whole material without having to separate them in different components. But over time, they wear and tear down, and that just a real issue. Because even the flip, even the damn flip flops are, if you look very closely, they're they're uh, separated into two components. You got the cushion part, and you got the rubber part. There's the seam right here. There's the white, the white piece in the middle. It's actually three. There's this layer. This layer, this layer. And that's all glued together. Everything is. That's how a lot of shoes and stuff that you put on your feet are made. And over time, water, moisture, and stuff gets into it and causes wear and tear. But that's all I've got to talk about in this video. Peace, peace.